What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to the Create You Experience. Now if you're new here, what we do is before we jump on the actual podcast, and oh by the way, it's on all audio platforms, baby, and you can get seven free gifts when you review the podcast on iTunes. But anyways, before we jump on the podcast, we have an experience. And today we are welcomed by a good friend of mine named Shannon Henry, and she's just a complete badass. She has new braids in her hair. She's gonna teach us some incredible things. We're actually gonna be getting dressed here that's why we're in in like this mall setting so come 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 say hi come on come over here this is Shannon she's absolutely uh, a, a very powerful woman and you're gonna hear a little bit more of her story when we jump on the podcast but first let's like get dressed and also twerk yeah we're gonna twerk <laughs> all right so I'm getting a full outfit so what's the first step the first step um so you said that you want shorts a summer outfit so I'm gonna find the shorts first and then we'll probably find the top and then we'll find the shoes some people build an outfit from the shoes up but I think we're gonna start with the shorts because I feel like that's gonna be the hardest part I'm picky about men's shorts okay I don't want you wearing cargo shorts oh no, boy no. let's no, no, no. go let's go welcome this is where I spent most of my college years <laughs> first step <laughs> urban <laughs> soma <laughs> Women's clothes. No, we're going to Urban Outfitters. Let's roll. So what do you look for in the shorts? It seems like there's a lot of, like, okay, these are like bathing shorts. No. But what do you look for in shorts? Oh, like these. You know, I look for what catches my eye, and I really like jorts on guys. Really? Yeah. I see, I always thought that you should not have jorts. Well, it depends on how you pull them off. Like, if you wear jorts with, like, a kind of, like, scoop neck top. So that's what's going to pull the ladies. <laughs> it depends on you. It depends on how you wear it. And if you have confidence wearing your outfit, then you can pull anything off. Oh. You know? What is, what's what is going on here? Vibras? These are, like, boxing shorts. You like to box. We should put you in <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> when it comes to colors. When it comes to colors. I like wearing black, white, and gray. What do you suggest for like a guy? Black, white, and gray. Really? Yeah, I like neutral colors. I also like olive green like you're wearing right now. I like like earth tones, but like like if you're going bright, like you, you need to be confident to like, like if you're gonna wear like this, you know? So it's basically just confidence in what you're wearing. Exactly. That's really what it, makes it you. It really is. Like you can pull off anything if you're confident with it. You know? Like, <laughs> should we put you in these? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, oh my gosh. Should I get it? This is a dream for should me. I buy it? Yeah, I... Think I should buy this. No. Why not? <laughs> she doesn't think so. Why not? You don't like it? No, seriously. What don't you like about it? Just. Wait, what is? That's it? what I'm going for. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> So basically, we went in there and it, it actually wasn't that expensive at all. So this jacket right here, this is just for some fun fashion. But the actual outfit that I was wearing, as you saw, what was it like? It was, that was like $50, like the actual outfit at most. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna jump into H&M. We're gonna try on some pants. Then we're gonna get some shoes, maybe some glasses to really complete an outfit, one total nice outfit. And then we're gonna twerk. So, so here we go. <laughs> So the first outfit was definitely more like summer, casual, like chillin'. And now we're gonna get something a little more like going out, trying to look nice, trying to stunt. Trying to twerk. Trying to twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is your <laughs> No, it's not. I, I don't know why. I just actually really like George's. Like, you can move. Yeah, they look good. I, I think they look good, actually, too. Yeah. And, like, I don't have small legs, so they look... Yeah, you got some ham hocks. Yeah, it's... How do you think are? Oh. Do they not have stretch? Oh. Do they not have stretch to them? It hurts. Oh. <laughs> Black ones. How tight these things are. Ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they really like flatten you out. Yeah, they, they, I feel so flat. <laughs> Do we like the gray ones though? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get the gray. So we're gonna get some shoes to go with the outfits. Which I don't know if we can find ones that go with both, but we're gonna try. Just one, just one, one pair. One pair. One pair. 
Let's do it. So I usually, black is the safest option because black goes with everything. But, I mean, these are gray, but I don't want to like matchy gray. Like, that's too matchy matchy in my opinion. So All right, so we have literally been to several, several stores to find shoes. And you know when you go to the mall and it's just like, you just can't find anything. We are here at, where are we? Buckle up? Buckle. Buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle. Buckle. <laughs> and we're gonna try out these last pair of shoes. Hopefully, hopefully, they have the size and everything looks good. What do we what do we think? Timberlands. So we're gonna go into the uh, what is it called? The dressing dressing room? room. Yes, yes, Brandon. Switch it up. Let's see what I look like. There you go. There you go. What are your thoughts? You look like a summery boy, ready to go enjoy the nice weather in Denver. So there you have it. She dressed me from head to toe. I also got glasses, you did not see those. Those will be coming in about seven to 10 days. Now we're gonna jump on over, right before we go into the podcast, to the twerking session. Let's roll. <laughs> so the first part of the Create You experience is complete. Now we are here, beautiful Shannon Henry. It's still the same person. And she is going to teach me how to twerk. So first, we gotta see how good she is at twerking. So here we go. Oh yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I was born ready. Okay, so the first thing, the most important thing, is warming up your lower back. Because it's all about the lower back. So if you have lordosis. I have it severe. Really? I have two herniated discs in my lower spine. Well, I don't know about the herniated disc, but if you have lordosis, you're probably gonna be good at twerking. Because it's all about movement from the low back. So we're gonna do some cat cows. Okay, okay. 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 My back kinda hurts. Yeah. Okay. Cow. Oh. Maybe yeah. do some more warm-up. But okay. We're short on time. Okay, fine. Okay. Alright, that's fine, right, that's it. The I want to cough or something. I'm like trying to <laughs> So ideally I'm just gonna have you start right here. You're light on your toes here. Yep. And it's okay. just the cat, cow, cat, cow, cat, oh cow. Gosh. The way she's like smiling at me as she shows up. She's like she's like cat cow. <laughs> you can see it. Alright, 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 here we go. Light on the toes, light on the toes, loose, loose, Okay, okay, we need to lose. Then what? Cat, cow. Cat, cow, cat. Loose cow. on the toes. Loose on the toes. Oh, loose on the toes. There you go. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna have you do? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna have you come here and just bounce. Okay. We got a little just, bouncy. Just a little bounce bouncy your, move. Bounce right. your butt. See? You got you. There you go. Hey. Okay. Now, now add a little bit of the boom, boom, boom. Bounce it up. Bounce it up. That's looking hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was the great new experience? <laughs> so it's. Bounce it up, bounce it up, bounce so it up. So it's bounce it up. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Bounce, bounce it up. up. So I'm gonna go here. Yeah, that's fine. So, so it's like up. bounce it up. There you go, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Uh, okay, wait, okay, okay. So from there, where do I go? Okay, where, so where we're go? gonna do hands on the knees now. Some people go out like this, some people go like this. It's whatever. What, which, one, which one do you like? I like this one. Why do you like that one? I don't know. It's just more comfortable. Oh, like a little some more stabilization. Yeah. Bounce it up. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Oh, it sounds like this. How do you go so fast, though? You're just, you're just quick, quick, quick. What the so, we're doing. I have too much muscle in my glutes. Pop. Have you seen these glutes? I've seen them. Yeah, they're massive. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? So, it's it's cows. Bounce. 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 Boop, 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 boop. You can't, you can't get too yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's tough. <laughs> you know, I think you'll be good at the wall twerk. Okay, let's try. Can I do it? Right, let's go. Okay. Guys, the podcast is coming in just a few <laughs> Trust me, promise. Okay, wall twerk. All right, it's very close. Okay. You're like getting into a handstand position with okay. your feet, your, I guess, your face facing the wall. Okay. And the same position you were just in, oh, and you're oh, doing oh. the same thing. Okay. Bounce oh, it, okay. bounce it. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, sweet. That's uh. <laughs> so, just to see, I love how she like teaches it. She's like, just do this, and you won't die. Cool. Good, good to know. Good to, good to hear. You got it. All right. There right. you go. All right, what am I doing? All right. All right. Now, same hoop, thing. Hoop, you got hoop, it. See? You got hoop, it. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Low back. Bounce ah, it. Cat, I think my cow. back's broken. Cat, cow. Okay. Cat, okay, cat. Ready? Cow. ready? Cat, yep. cow. Yep. Cat, yep. There you cow, go. Cat, 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 cat. And then, <laughs> that, I'm not going to lie. All of this is very intense. Yeah. Is there anything else you need to teach me or is that that's pretty much it? 
Um, That's pretty much how you get, get down on your feet. <laughs> well, you can like get down on the ground. Oh gosh, okay, last one. It's like a crawl twerk. Okay. So you're just moving the butt. Some people like to move their legs. I don't like to do that. I should put my So where do you do that? In a club? You don't do that in a club. You don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't do that in a club. Okay. You do the, the standard. Uh, okay. The standard so, so I'm definitely... Okay, wait, wait, it's, well, it's, 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 it's light on the feet. Yeah. I'm just gonna go slow. We can do the penguin twerk. You might be good uh, at that. Okay, okay. so I did a lot one. of different forms. Last okay. one, penguin. So penguin is, you're standing wide here. Again, light on the toes, and you're just moving back and forth. But I don't have, I, I have muscle. So do I. I. I know you do, <laughs> but like, these glutes just are, just try. are just try. steel. All right. Light on the toes. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, we, we keep okay. the, we keep the, that. Okay. We keep the upper body ah, still. Shit. I like that. So you're. I like the shimmy. You're, not, you're just shimmying okay. your butt. Okay. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's it's just like good. glutes are so like so extremely like contracted. You're like, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like interesting. Anyways, I think I think that's that's good. The cats really love that. They really saw that. Um, Shannon, did you enjoy it? That was so much fun. It was beautiful. So thank you guys for tuning in for this to create new experience. Now we're gonna jump into the podcast. We're actually in the setting, so let's jump right over. Hey, my name is Brennan Myers, and welcome to the Create You Experience, where we ignite your breakthrough, create your experience, and bring your vision to life. Uh, I can't sit around and wait till it goes right Cause I've been hopping over obstacles my whole life I got a vision and I know it's about to take flight I'm dedicated to growth, I keep my mind right I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable Anything in my way, I'ma break through Lights, camera, action, take two Can't worry about what they do, you gotta create you Welcome to the Create You Experience As you heard it, my name is Brennan Myers And by the way, I, I don't want to continue without you knowing we are here on YouTube, but also all audio platforms. So if you are listening to us, we created an experience before this podcast and I actually twerked. I learned how to twerk and and I, would, I had the pleasure of picking out clothes with the beautiful Shannon Henry and I want to introduce you now. Shannon, say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Shannon is uh, an incredible, incredible person. Um, one thing I really like about her is her, just your energy, oh. your, your energy and, and how powerful she is. She's such an independent woman. And, uh, I, I thought, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity to bring her on, talk about like kind of the twerking and where it comes from, because it's more than just twerking, right? It, there's a lot of emotion behind that. Um, and just really introduce her to you guys. But, um, uh, now before we continue, remember when you do review the podcast on iTunes, you get seven incredible free gifts. You also get like the ABBA program, meal plans, and all, all that type of stuff. So should they should they review the podcast? Definitely. Yeah. Review the podcast. Yeah, 100%. Because then you'll have the twerking hips <laughs> and the body to be able to wear all these beautiful clothes. But that's not true. Anybody can wear the beautiful clothes. Anybody can wear beautiful clothes. It's more about the way that you wear them. If you rock them, if you're confident, you can wear whatever. Ooh. Isn't that right? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Shannon does a, a few different things. So she's sponsored by a few different companies, works mm -hmm. uh, and collaborates with several companies. Mm -hmm. And she's also on YouTube. Um, and one cool thing that you do on YouTube is like clothing hauls and you actually get paid to wear specific clothing and stuff. So so, mm -hmm. so what is that all about? Um, honestly, I, I think my like interest in fashion started, I was working for Lululemon, um, when I lived in Seattle and I just like randomly, I mean, I was on YouTube trying to vlog, but vlogging was not my thing. Uh, vlogmas? You ever heard of vlogmas? I have heard of vlogmas. Oh, vlogmas is, yeah, that's, yeah. that's some annoying shit right yeah. there. No, it I'm, was, kidding, I'm kidding. I just always, it's I don't know, great. bringing my camera out in public and I just always would forget to film or I'd be like too embarrassed, but I sat down and I made a, a video on my favorite Lululemon items, like my essential yeah. items. And that video blew up and I was like, wow, I like actually really love talking about clothes as like simple as that is. I yeah. absolutely love it. Um, so it kind of just went from there. I started making more videos talking about clothes and then companies started reaching out to me to do clothing hauls or clothing Boom. reviews. And, yeah. and now you have an opportunity to like bring influence in a different way, but you're also very funny. So yeah, that's kind of like the intro to Shannon and that's the podcast. Thanks for tuning in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yo, peace. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye. No, no, no but um, you, know, you know, today we, we went through that experience. Like I said, on YouTube, we do that in every experience. And you, you I, I noticed that like, you're just like very quick in a clothing store. You go in and you go out. Like, it's not mm -hmm. like you're not bullshitting around, you no. know, kind of what to, 
what does match, what doesn't, but you also feel out what the other person's thinking. So like one thing that I learned about you, mm. and this is what you told me, mm -hmm. was that you like to go, like if you could do this online every single day, just like help people to, to buy on a budget mm -hmm. online, yeah. uh, you would do it all day because you know how to, because it's hard, it's fucking hard. Have you ever been to Target online? <laughs> Like, yo, yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, <laughs> I go in there, I'm like, what the heck? I think of, like, the hot dogs at the front, you know, and, and all of the cool stuff that comes with Target. Not Are you talking about Costco or Target? Oh, that's true. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking about Costco. That's some real shit. It's okay. It's but but talk about that, like, the the, the online, and, and once we talk about this, we'll get into, like, some deeper shit. But mm -hmm. honestly, when it comes to shopping online, how the fuck do we do that? Mm -hmm. Because I'm lost. Um my favorite thing is if i i have like a specific event or a specific like outfit or something exact that i'm looking for um and then i kind of narrow down what exactly i'm looking for and i usually find a site that i know that i want to find it on um and then you just you just poke around you just start like i could but honestly though i could spend hours on online shopping but how do you how do you get the right sizes like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a male right and i'm i'm over here like yo I want these shoes. I the, really want them, but I can't buy them. The I feel si like the sizing chart. And then also I think like a big thing why I like making reviews is to help people with sizing. Like there's tons of YouTubers that make clothing reviews or clothing hauls and they always talk about sizing. <laughs> like that's, that's why they do it. <laughs> I thought they were just wanting to look cute and no, nice. No, no. Whenever I'm about to buy, if I'm like, especially if it's like a bigger purchase too, or if I'm, it's something that I'm unsure about, right. I always will go watch YouTube reviews before and that and people i mean it sounds so like simple but it actually is so helpful and because online shopping is like throwing a dart at a what a haystack that's not a saying but i, don't I, think but I just made it a saying i do you like know? hey you though. never <laughs> do you I, I fuck with hey yeah. do you yeah have you ever jumped on like a big haystack and you're like oh ooh. no i can't say that i have mm, that's interesting <laughs> because i haven't either i was just wondering <laughs> oh okay <laughs> by the way really nice braids i thank really you. like those braids thank you so much now, okay so so watch clothing hauls i swear i'm not even kidding like all these clothing hauls i was like these these girls just like to see themselves in clothing no. that's what i thought the whole time i was like why are they doing this and they get so many views now i understand well def some of the views are definitely from like weird men that like want to see you in the clothes but right. that's not like that's not the audience that i'm trying to bring in otherwise like it just know. happens when you're like when you're pulling on it and then like your butt's showing a little bit and then like guys are like oh my gosh i'm gonna follow her like mm. yeah yeah, yeah. but that's that. not you know that's not what we're trying to get at uh, yeah it's okay for so, the ladies so sh so shopping online you just got to know your size right like you really got to know your size yeah I, which i don't and I sometimes don't do sometimes it's just a matter of trying out like for example fashion nova like you can do one order from them get a couple different things and see if most of those like that one size works for you and if not then you know that for the next time that you order from them, like, oh, it runs small because certain companies like run small. So, mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. I'm understanding. This is great. All right. I, now, now, now let's shift. Let's shift. <laughs> twerking. So you freaking twerk everywhere. By the way, if you want to follow Shannon, immediately go run, sprint, literally <laughs> like twerk your, yourself on over to your phone and literally look this up because she twerks and she has fun. You have so much energy. You're so exciting. Like, where does this come from? Where, where did you learn how to twerk? Oh, this is a good one. Oh, honestly, I started twerking probably my senior year of college. Um, I'm not sure what stemmed it. It's probably, there was probably like a song or something or a music video that came out and I was like, mm. I want to learn how to do that. But, but like what, what was, what's so exciting about twerking to you? Um, okay, I'm going to be completely honest. It's one of the only dances that I'm naturally like able to do. And, you know, some people naturally That's just are like, you know, yeah. you know, Absolutely, I and, that. and the first time I tried twerking, I was like, I actually can kind of do this. And a lot of people are struggling with it. That means I might be naturally kind of OK at it. You know, I'm not I'm not an expert, I'm not an expert, oh. but, but it's also just fun. It's fun. It's because carefree. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like it's not like mm. ballet, you know, like it's not like you have whoa, to whoa. have. Like, OK, time the fuck out. I mess with ballet. But like, I feel like ballet is such a serious like you have to be and no, it, it like it shows so a, much emotion for a lot of people it takes Figure like skating. years it takes years of like training to be on good toes, at, at yeah. ballet to, on the toes too like yeah that's, I, honestly the it's, ballet i have so much respect for oh it's for those. hard it's oh my hard gosh. but you know a lot of people if you just have a a bit of booty and a little jiggle and then you you're can, good you can twerk and it's juicy. and some lower back control 
It's what it takes. It's what it takes. <laughs> but but we really gotta you know stay away from the herniations. You know. Yeah. We, we don't want to really, hurt. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Yeah. I like me. I that's how I hurt myself. I was hurt. Twerking. I was twerking one day, and I watched one of your videos. I was twerking one day, oh my gosh. and then like at the same time I was eating an apple. You know they say if you mm-hmm. eat an apple a day, you keep the doctors away. And yeah. man, I I had to go see the doctor immediately. <sighs> like oh, no. I was fucked. I was oh like, no. Yeah. I'm so sorry. But thank you for teaching me how to twerk again. Of course. You know, it's my broken back and all. Yeah, you are naturally really good at it, to be completely honest. I can can jerk too. You can jerk. I saw you jerk probably on your story yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see. I can't jerk. I can't do most of the dances out there. I can't do. So the one dance that I could do, I was like, I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to hold on to it hard. (laughs) Yeah, this is my best friend. That's amazing. (laughs) Okay, so where does all this expression come from? You're not just, let's be real, okay? You're not just like this obviously you're an independent woman and everything but you're not just an independent woman walking through life like the happiest woman in the world and all this stuff like where does the positivity come from mm-hmm. where does the hey it's all good because even today i was like i was like exhausted and like you're like oh what do you want i was like oh, i just want a woman to love and duh, duh, duh. i was like in my tears and my i was feeling the feeling <laughs> all the energy feels. so like where does the supportive side of you come from and where does all this positivity come from hmm I would say, I don't know. I'm, to be completely honest, I've always been a pretty positive person. Like I, I you say positive, positive. <laughs> I'm very positive. Um, I, I've always kind of, I don't know, found the silver lining in things. Um, I think probably my mom taught me that I actually have it tattooed on my body. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, sure. It's, it, it's in the spot right there. Oh, wow. This too shall pass. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So if you think about it, like, everything in life the good and the bad this too shall pass like it's all the good times you know cherish them while they're happening because they're gonna pass yeah but the bad times like you're gonna get through it like yeah, everything yeah. so it's like and then i've also kind of been that person that like when bad things happen i always try to find the reasoning behind them i think everything happens for a reason so i i gave this example i think in a q a on my youtube channel it's like if I don't go check that out, just subscribe <laughs> now, leave a review, get your seven products. Go, go check it out. Um, <laughs> if I'm like, you know, I don't know, driving to the airport or something and I get a flat tire, um, this is going to be kind of grotesque. This was not the example, but it's, it's not cool. coming to me. It's cool. so, I picked you up from the airport one so time. I, he did. It was so nice. He didn't even really know me. I was like, hey, Brendan, want to pick me up from the airport? And he was like, sure. Wow, what that's a guy. Fun. What's up? That's support. What a Subscribe guy. now. <laughs> like, what a guy. No, I'm kidding. Go. Um, but, okay, so say, okay, no, actually, this was my example. Say I'm driving to a meeting or something and I get a flat tire. Um, my first thought, maybe I had a, a flight to catch the next day at the airport. My first thought would be, I'm so glad that this didn't happen tomorrow, you know, because then I would have missed my flight. Yeah. So it's like, that's things like that it's just or, like always looking to the bright side or thinking like everything happens for a reason you yeah know? like maybe like, i wasn't supposed to go to this meeting some stuff like that mm, yeah yeah it, so. it's kind of like it's kind of like um if you're like eating popcorn right mm-hmm. and you know something's coming <laughs> oh, you, you know something's coming <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm just gonna shift away from the popcorn joke okay. whatever I, I, okay. I always throw jokes all the time but it's true it's always like shifting the mindset of like oh well what if it, it could have been worse it could have been a different situation mm. So who's your mom? Is your mom, it, I feel like you love your mom. I love so my mom. Much. I love my mom a lot. Yeah. She's, she's definitely the biggest inspiration in my life. I don't know. She's just a, she's a strong woman and she's a badass and she's accomplished a lot. Um, you know, and it could, it, it didn't have to be that way. Like she could have, um, accepted her circumstances and not really accomplished that much. What were those circumstances? um if you can share she any of oh them. no it's not like i don't know she she grew up in a uh family that i mean first of all like what she's 58 i want to say now age so, is a number what was that age is just a number yeah age is just a number but i'm saying like the time period she grew up in um and she grew up uh east coast in maryland um and her her parents were definitely the very traditional like you should go to a two-year college and either become a nurse or Right, a like, teacher yeah, or like a secretary exactly go down the regular path um and my mom was like no she's like i want more for myself um and she like begged to go to a four-year school um and her parents not very healthy people um she decided she wanted to learn about health and nutrition 
she became a chiropractor. She got into bodybuilding actually oh, in the shit. 80s. Yeah. So she was like 20, 21 years old back when it was weird. And she did, she, it was weird back then, especially for women. Um, Cause they're like, when it was weird. Yeah. They were, they were like, why would you want to put on muscle as a woman? That's so weird. Um, but she did a bodybuilding show, didn't tell anyone. Um, and then she back, you know, came out a little and she did more and more. Um, but yeah, and then became a chiropractor. Um, now she's a naturopathic doctor. I don't know. She's what? just, wait, 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 what the <laughs> freak? Are you kidding me? She's yeah. a naturopath. Yeah. So she's, she's definitely accomplished a lot and she's kind of just like followed her, gut. her passions and her, yeah, her and gut. Her gut. gut and her it, exactly. And what she really like wanted to do, even though everyone else around her was saying, why are you doing that? That's weird. So hold on. I want to, I want to hold on right here because <laughs> I know something about you. Mm-hmm where you do trust your gut in many instances, but at the same time, mm. you're holding back in your life right now and in some ways, right? Would yeah. you say? Uh, yeah. So why why don't you take what your mom did and do exactly what she's doing? She's really yeah. taking those next steps and like, hey, I'm just going to go. Like, yeah. there's no questions. Yeah. So what are what's holding you back? Like, where do you want to, like, what are things that you're, that are, you're held back from right now? Um, to be honest, I've always had a very intense fear of failure, um, intense fear of failure. And I guess I'm just, a, I'm like, I'm pretty risk adverse in some, in some instances sometimes. Right. Yeah. I'm either one way or the other. I'm either like, let's do it. Or I'm like, mm. mm, I don't want to think exactly. Um, and I've, I've definitely always had a fear of judgment from other people. Um, probably because I've been judged quite a bit in my life. Have you? Yes. <laughs> in what ways? Um, from you know, obviously everybody everybody judges, you know. By the way, this this is the, this is the deflection me- mechanism. Yeah, it's saying everybody it's like, judges. It's like, well, everyone judges. It's cool. So yeah, l- let's well, not well, let's not inflate yeah. this because it's the truth of the matter is that it affected you. Yeah, and that's all that matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it was small, it was big. Mm-hmm. It, it, you could have been your ass could have been beaten like to the ground mm-hmm. from like multiple people. You could have just been called names. It still mm-hmm. affects your heart and and, yeah. and your mind and how you think. So like, yeah. what are some instances? Um, I, a lot, a lot of friends over the years have decided that I maybe am like too much or just not their style anymore, not their cup of tea anymore. Um, and just for me being myself, um, which is, yeah. So I think that's kind of the buildup of all of that. Cause it's, it's happened many, many times with many, many right. different people and people that were very close to me. Mm. Um, so I guess that um, kind you of you get actually get emotional about this. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, I and, can I mean, feel it. Yeah, because it it sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but that's but that's a beauty in it is like mm-hmm. you're seeing this stuff now, and and here's the thing is that like if you want to go to San Diego, if you want to go anywhere, right? Like I almost feel like you don't want to because you have certain things here. Mm-hmm. You don't want to leave somewhere and go somewhere else and like all of a sudden not have anything or like all of a sudden be in a tr- like a, a situation like you were years ago, you know, yeah. like, yeah. but the beauty of it is it, it all starts with you and you know that right? yeah. like it starts with how you show up for other people. It's, mm-hmm. it's, you know, if you invite other people, if you do this or you know what I mean? Yeah. Or step out of your comfort zone for other, like to, to build a relationship mm-hmm. And it's not, you, I mean, you know this, it's, it's the other, it's, it's those women or whoever they were that mm-hmm. affected you. Like it was them. It right. wasn't you. Right. It's always, but at the same time, it's also an, a reflection in many areas. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like, why did they do that? Right. I learned about myself is that I was kind of, I was kind of like all about me mm-hmm. and I didn't see it. I was yeah. like, Oh, but I like help people and stuff. Yeah. But like, I was really, when I, when I was digging deeper and deeper and deeper, I, I recognized that one, I was sacrificing for other people. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to give. I just gave it because I had to. That's what sacrifice really, encom- for me, that's what I think of. Yeah. And number two, I like literally was just coming from an ego place. Like I wanted somebody to see me. Mm. Or like I wanted to wear these clothes because I wanted someone to see me. I wanted these glasses or whatever. Not anymore. Now it's like yeah. I like to enjoy wearing certain things. Yeah. So where where can you relate to that? Do you feel like you do certain things And I think we always do. So like, what are some things that you do that you kind of, that may actually affect your relationships more? Because this is something you might not be tap into. Yeah, no, I definitely, I, I think because I've been, I guess, screwed over, you could say, um, many times, I kind of have a protective like mechanism, um, that 
I, I never, I never want to like go too out of my way for someone. I never want to get too close to someone, let someone too close because if I, if I really give everything to someone, like they're just going to take it, take it. Bye Shannon. Thanks for that. So, (laughs) so this is what I want you to do. and, And honestly, because we live like pretty close to each other. Mm-hmm. I want you to practice being like all in with me as a friend, mm-hmm. like really trust that because mm-hmm. I show up for people and I always have, yeah. and I will never judge you for like what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, you can trust that. And I think having people like myself around you mm-hmm. and having the, like, once you see it go all in yeah. and, and actually even before that, before you even see it go all in, mm-hmm. because sometimes when you just go all in with everybody, mm-hmm. it sticks with many. Yeah. You know, and I've been screwed over many times or so I thought Mm. actually I just screwed myself over. Mm. Have you ever thought about that? Like maybe you screwed yourself over a little bit. Maybe you didn't do something for that person and it showed up differently for them. Or maybe someone, the way they communicate is a little bit different than you. Right. So you communicated in your own way because you wanted to, because Mm -hmm. it's for you. And so is that coming from ego? And so like it actually affects the relationship and then they get butthurt or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever felt like you've you've kind of done something yourself that kind of affected a relationship in a way? Have you ever thought of it in, in that manner? Um I I yeah, I have. I have. Um definitely I mean, well, I mean, I guess I could even talk about one of my one of my closest friends right now is going through a pretty rough time. Yeah. Um and but she's like she's always kind of gone through rough times like it's, it's so it's almost like boy who cried wolf i don't yeah. want to so it's it's but she's going through a hard but time. she's going through a really hard time right now um and i can 100 percent say i'm not showing up for her like i should be mm. like i because it's it is it is kind of mentally exhausting to a degree um but she does she i mean honestly like even you saying this right now like i it's like i'm i am being selfish like i should i should literally call her and be like hey i'm coming over you I mean, should. Like I, like, you should. I, I, because here's the thing, Shannon, is like what we do in our lives, and this is what I've noticed about my own life, is we put all the, we don't want to put so much energy into one thing, but yet we'll put so much energy, small amounts of energy everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And really what we're doing is exhausting all of our energy times 10 when we could focus on one thing yeah. and bring a lot of energy there mm-hmm. and then recoup and go somewhere else because that good energy that we're providing it's actually good. Like if you show up for her and you help her through this hard time, whatever it is, sickness, mm-hmm. health, whatever it is, yeah, that energy that's gonna come back to you, it's like rejuvenating. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I I think like one hundred percent, like after this, you should call her. Yeah. I, I really think You're you should. Right. Yeah. And and that's where that's where relationships grow. Yeah. It's like when you really don't feel like it, just do it. Because yeah. you never know what's on the other side. She could call you and like there could be a, an amazing update. Yeah. You know, there could be what I don't know the situation. So mm-hmm. what I'm saying is just show up, yeah. you know, and you showing up. I know without a doubt you're super powerful. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you put on this persona of like it, it's like I don't want to get to I don't want to go so in depth with you mm-hmm. because I it might break me or it might hurt me. Mm-hmm. But like just go all in with everybody. Yeah. I'm serious. Like it's so juicy in there. Like you don't even know. Like. <laughs> A lot of people don't even know what's going on in there. Like yeah. I do. I know what the fuck's up because I go all in with everybody. And mm-hmm. you know, I stayed up until 4 a.m. for this girl because she's going through a hard time with her ex and like trying to mm-hmm. figure out her life and where she wants to go. You know, I spent hours and hours talking to this girl that is in a relationship that's kind of like a little shifty for her. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I take the time because it also benefits me. I learn on my podcasts every day. Mm-hmm. I learn from this. While you're saying, hey, I need to call someone, I'm going to go call someone after this. Yeah. And now I'm going to be able to grow from it. And that's where the growth lies, you know? Mm-hmm. Like if you ask me, ask me something that, that you want to know that's very vulnerable so that you can learn something from that perspective. Mm. Ask me something. Are you truly confident in all areas? Oh. Because, because when I first met you, I was like, oh, wow, this guy is just. Confident. Confident, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like where, like where are the insecurities? Ooh, shit. We want to talk about that? <laughs> Damn, you're fucking, now you're not fucking around. Um, yeah, so this might, you might be able to take something from this and everyone might. So for me, I am, <laughs> you're funny. Um, I'm very insecure. I'm not, I, I don't think I'm very insecure in anything. I believe that 
I have slight insecurities with my with like certain things that happen or arrive in my life. So, mm-hmm. for instance, I have like dry skin right now because of I don't know, like cause Colorado. Of when I well, oh when I was on antibiotics and like all of these drugs and shit that I was when I was going through my heart, my rough time, it like shifted my body completely. Mm-hmm. So I'm very insecure with like my stomach and like like my actual stomach, like my insides oh, and okay. like my like the dryness. So like I always think that someone sees me or if if someone sees my teeth, you know, I think they're like a little bit too yellow. Mm-hmm. Right. Even though everyone's like, hey, you have a really nice smile mm-hmm. and it's just, it's just like a natural thing. Yeah. But I smile all the time. I don't think of it all the time. Yeah. Also, if I'm talking to someone that like, I feel like is out of my league, mm-hmm. like a very beautiful woman, mm-hmm. I will go out of my way to almost fix them rather mm-hmm. than connecting with them. Mm-hmm. And through that time, like I find out that that they actually like me, but I have a resistance towards them because like I'm a, it's like I'm afraid of just one no. Just yeah. one no. Just like you're, you're for, like you're fearful of certain things, of right. failure. Right. For me, it's failure. Mm-hmm. So like, I, yeah, like those are some things. You know, like I, I used to have acne on my back, and it was like really, really. I'm getting fucking juicy as shit. Yeah. My gosh, <laughs> like this is stuff that's really, really uncomfortable for me. Yeah. You know, I, I don't get, I don't get acne too often on my back anymore. But like, even when I was going through the, the tough time because of antibiotics and all, like my back was just covered, and like I, like I was just broken down. You know, mm-hmm. so. I was also insecure with my body, like how, how I was, how yeah. I looked like, yeah. you know, muscle wise. So yeah, I, I have a lot of fucking insecurities too. Mm-hmm. And it's when I show up and I, and I am vulnerable with those insecurities with other people, that's when like all my relationships grow yeah. and I find out who I want in my life. Yeah. And that's where you get to do starting today with the same with you, you know, yeah. like what other insecurities do you have? Mm. Let's be honest. <laughs> this is getting deep. Yeah. Um, I always, I, it makes me uncomfortable like talking about this because I never want anyone to get the like wrong impression of me because truly I am a very confident person, but I think there's a difference between confidence and like cockiness. Yeah. Um, but I, most of my life have been told like, oh, you're beautiful, you're attractive, you're, you know, pretty, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I mean, and that's lovely. Those are lovely compliments, but like truly, where I have become the most insecure is like, I want people to compliment who I am as a person. Mm. Like I want to hear that, oh, you're a good person. I I love your personality or I love your energy or you're smart or you're like, you bring other things to the table other than like, you're pretty, you know, because it's like, that's, that's great. But really like, that doesn't like, what does that really, yeah. What does that mean to me? Exactly. Like Like I, I was saying to you earlier, like you're kind of like born into the, the face and the body that you have and you can, you can do other things to like spice it up, enhance (laughs) Enhance it. it. But like, it's not that big of an an accomplishment that doesn't really say like who you are as a person, like what you look like is not who you are as a person. Um, so like I have always been a little bit like insecure about that, about who you are, about who I am. I, yeah. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. Remember when we were dry, we were dry. When I picked you up from the airport, I was mm-hmm. talking to you. I was like, there's way more to you. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason why you twerk. There's a reason why you express yourself because there's so much more. And this is what's coming out. Mm-hmm. Like, you can be a lot more serious sometimes with people. I can. I sure can. <laughs> but you don't very often. Yeah. Yeah. Not, definitely not on social media. I, but life isn't like, yeah. but here's the thing is, it, you see my social media. Mm-hmm. I get super fucking serious, but then I'm like freaking doing like crazy dances and shit, like screaming yeah. at the top of my lungs. Yeah. I think expressing yourself is, is the beauty. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. And mm-hmm. if you want people to compliment you on that, then be your authentic self mm-hmm. and br- be vulnerable with that expression. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. You do that in some I, sorts. No, I definitely think I am my authentic self on social media, but I definitely don't. I feel uncomfortable getting vulnerable on social media because it's a, you know, there's lots of people out there that. Well, this is the start, <laughs> but here's the thing. You're creating you. Mm. <laughs> Advertising, baby. Um, subscribe now. Seven free gifts. Review the podcast on iTunes. Um, but you, you you literally get to, honestly, you get to create yourself now mm-hmm. moving forward because it's it, it's the past. It's the past, right? Mm-hmm. Whoever you're dating, whoever your, your friends are, the food that you're eating, all these relationships that you have in your life, you finally get to just say, all right, enough's enough. I, it doesn't matter what social media thinks. It doesn't matter what this person thinks, my friend, the, the guy at Whole Foods, whatever. Mm-hmm. I get to be me. And if they don't like it, which they will eventually if you're being authentic, but if they don't like it, then you get to keep moving forward with your life. And yeah. you know what happens is 
it's like you walking down a street where there's a bunch of people outside, right? Mm -hmm. And you're just dancing. You're like, let's just say, let's for, for the sake of it, you're the only white person, mm -hmm. and there's just all the other uh, uh, different different colored colored people all around. So like mm -hmm. black people from India, like everywhere, yeah. Japanese. And you're in the middle. You're the only white person, mm -hmm. and you're just dancing in the middle, right? You're just dancing. You're walking through a street, and everyone's watching you. Someone's going to be like, "Yo, I like that chick. Like, she's really fucking cool. I'm gonna go dance with her, right?" And there's gonna be one person, but all those other people are gonna be like, "Ah, oh, nah, fuck that girl. Like, this is a weird ass white girl. Like, walking down. You know what I mean?" And soon enough, as you go further and further, more people join, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, it's fucking diverse. Yeah. And people are like loving who you are mm -hmm. and what you're doing. And there's 100, 150, 200, 500 people. Soon enough, the whole fucking street is dancing with you down the street. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's literally just leadership. Yeah. It's because you were yourself. You were raw. You were authentic. You mm -hmm. were vulnerable. And the reason why people follow me, like people have unfollowed me a ton, right? Yeah. When I was not being my authentic self, when I was just selling one program, like it's called the Creative Fitness Academy. You could buy it now, right? On the, I'm no, kidding. Okay. <laughs> but like, it's called the Creative Fitness Academy. I was like trying to, I was tapping into a new me mm -hmm. and I was so interested and I was like, what is this all business like? You know, so I'd wear like really nice clothes and I would only wear like dress shoes and I was like, I'm a new me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'd have like these, these stupid looking glasses, didn't fucking make any sense. Yeah. And I would make vlogs about the, the hustle, but I wouldn't be the funny me. Like yeah. where was the funny me? So yeah. once I took a step back, right? I lost a lot of followers during that time, mm -hmm. but I also gained a lot of, a lot of other things. Yeah. But like with that, it came uh, uh, so many different types of um, opportunities. And, and I, when I took a step back, people started to follow me again and like really support me and really love me. And now mm -hmm. I'm doing this podcast and I'm myself, I'm, I'm vlogging on myself from A to Z. Yeah. And people just thrive off of it. Yeah. They will eventually, once you're vulnerable with people, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? What? Yeah. Shannon, you're weird. Yeah. But like, but you're Shannon Henry. You're not just Shannon, mm -hmm. right? Like you're, you're, you encompass so much more and you have the opportunity to do that. So mm -hmm. what do you struggle with the most in your life right now? What would you say? Hmm. I... You know what it is. You just yeah. don't want to say it. Yeah, no, I do. Um, okay, so like I said, what I'm doing right now, it's fun. Um, Clothing hauls and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's fun and I, I do enjoy it, um, but I don't feel like there's a whole lot of purpose behind it necessarily. And I also know that that just working with, you know, sponsorships and brand deals and stuff like that's not entirely sustainable. Right. <laughs> um, so I would like to create something that is my own um because I like I went to business school like I was literally in a like program called the creativity and entrepreneurship program like the specific branch of yeah. business school um and I just feel kind of stagnant and I have ideas but I I never put them into motion because fear of failure um I'm an overthinker too I, I will like analyze the crap out of something before I ever like take action on it. <laughs> right. Those are the most successful people in the world, by the way. Are they? Yeah. Oh, well, this is nice Analyzers, to me. Yeah. Analyzers are some of the most successful <laughs> you people. You just in the world. wait, guys. <laughs> um, but that, that was just you dissing yourself. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> That's negative. Like, I know you're laughing about it, but I'm, I'm really not because I see way more than that. Mm -hmm. Is like when people do, people do this all the fucking time. They like discount it by like just laughing at her like, hey, you'll see one day. You're literally saying like, I'm never going to make it. And that's a joke. Like it can't be true because I'm not, I'm not going to be like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can and you will if you take the next steps. Have you ever tried to be like, hey, Brendan, not as a date. Do you want to go, go for dinner? And like, I just want to pass some things by you. Have you ever tried that? No. Do you know why I build businesses with influencers? I know this. Yeah. Like people hit me up every single day to build businesses. Mm hmm and I build businesses for people that you're friends with. Mm -hmm. So like you could literally be like, hey, Brendan, I want to run some ideas past you. Hey, like, what, what do you think about this? I will literally tell you, I'll give you my honest opinion and we can work from it. You know, mm -hmm. like there's so much more. You could even create a website where girls go and you do all clothing hauls at the top of it and like your videos and all these different things. And then all of these different websites pay you each month to have all your, all of their hottest new deals for the summer or whatever it is below and they're all competing with each other and you're doing clothing hauls of all of them like people would literally pay you to do that 
Mm-hmm. You know, there, there's so many different ideas. And I know you have, you're like, you want to start talking about all the ideas <laughs> and stuff. And we can go, like, I'm serious. We can go mm-hmm. eat and whatever. And, and you can tell me about these things. But you will never make it if you don't ask for the support. Yeah. Saying you're an independent woman, I right? I know you're an independent <laughs> woman. But at the same time, you're also trying to take on this different, uh, this different like side of, of society that like you're not supposed to, right? We all have masculine and feminine energy in our lives, right? Mm-hmm. Like don't, don't try and, and think that you have to be all this energy all the time because it doesn't serve you fully, mm-hmm. right? I even like to be submissive sometimes, like a, like a girl to be like, yo, shut up. And I'll be like, okay, <laughs> sweet. You, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like when, when you're going to look for a, a food place, like you, wanna, you want tacos. I ask you, I'm like, I'm like, hey, do you want tacos tonight? And you're like, you're like eh, I don't know. I think I want some steak. Oh, okay. You want to go to Morton Steakhouse? Uh, I don't really like that steak place. Okay. What would you like? Uh, I might want tacos. Oh my gosh, we're going to get fucking tacos. Let's go. And you're like, okay. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah. we all need that in our lives and trying to fit this scope like that we aren't, that who we aren't is like, it's not being our vulnerable and authentic selves. Mm-hmm. So asking for support's number one. And you get to do that. Like literally starting tonight, you really get to. Mm-hmm. And even for relationships, right? Like you, you've mentioned just like relationships uh, with, with other girls, right? There's been mm-hmm. like some kind of like some, Hustle bustle there or whatever, like yeah. friction. Yeah. Why? Why do you think that? Um, I mean, are we talking about the the girls that have anybody? Uh, yes. Yeah. Any anyone like anyone that you feel like you've had it, even guys anything like where do you think there's a there's a friction of of like with relationships and not going there because I'm I'm bringing this up because it most likely has something to do with support as well. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Um, I guess, well, w- with the whole like support thing, I, oh, this is another, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go back. To, we're gonna fucking we're vulnerable. Gonna go this is little. great. Um, well, this is like, this is very random, but I guess I, I definitely, I don't like feeling like I look stupid and I don't like asking for help because I, a lot of times, I mean, I grew up, like I went to literally at the number one high school in Colorado. Everyone's so freaking smart. My brother is out of this world. Brilliant, like brilliant. And so I've been around very intelligent people my whole life and I think I have like a lower sense of how intelligent I am because I've been around these like naturally like brilliant people and so I've kind of like holed up in in a way and like I don't like I never wanted to be that person in school like hey like I but have you a- do know but you do know a lot huh I do yeah I and and that's just it like I I, I know I'm an intelligent human I know that but I guess I've just always or I've I've just like time and time again, been like, no, just don't, just don't, don't be the person asking for help. Don't so what that. if you, so, so, but that, like, did you know that when you ask for support, you actually get more? <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> like, okay, for instance, when you're at Chipotle, I fucking love Chipotle, baby. <laughs> Woo, double chicken, double rice, double fajitas, mm-hmm. get a little bit of that mile. Let me get some guacamole. I live across the street from Chipotle. Wow. You want to you wanna go to Chipotle sometime? And then we can we can talk over some business things. I would love to S- business things. No, okay, <laughs> gluten free baby. No, no Chipotle for me. But but so it's like when you go to Chipotle, you know what happens when you ask for a little bit more chicken? Mm-hmm. You fucking get a little bit more chicken, and you know what comes with a little bit more chicken? A little bit more chicken. Yeah, and it and 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 you actually feel more satisfied. You're like, oh my gosh, I have more chicken now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Rather than I'm not gonna ask for chicken in my mind, I want more chicken, and then you check out. I know this is a funny reference, but you check out, and by the time you sit down, you're like, damn, I wish I had more chicken. Mm-hmm. And how many times are you doing that in your life where you're like, I wish I had more. I wish I had more. I wish I had more. I wish I had more friends. I wish I had more of this. I wish I had more money. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? You're not going to have more friends. You're not going to have more money. You're not going to have more food. You're not going to have anything more if you don't ask for it. Yeah. It all starts with just a question. Mm-hmm. Hey, do you want to go out sometime? Sure. That leads to love. If I didn't ask that person, nothing would have came from it. Right. Right. Hey, can you help me with these boxes? Sure. Okay. You help me with my boxes and I don't fucking break my back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's like society, we, we, have, we have programmed ourselves that, hey, we can't trust anybody, number mm-hmm. one. And we can't even really trust ourselves because if we tell ourselves something, is it even real or is it, is it even true? Because society is saying one thing. Mm-hmm. And number two, two, 
if we do ask for for support anywhere else, we get denied. You know why? Because of fucking TV, magazines, and what social media tells us is like it's we have all these unrealistic expectations. Like you can travel the world, like with a drop of a dime, you can go here, you can go here, but we're in school. And, you know, our parents might not have a lot of money and we're like, well, what the fuck? Like mm -hmm. one thing's telling me one thing and then the other. So just a question. It's, you just have to ask a question. What questions do you feel like you're, you're not asking right now in your, in your life? What are some questions? Some questions. Ooh, <laughs> I know one. And I, I think we actually just matched in our minds. I have a, I have a feeling. I know I have a question. Tell me. Any relationships going on or? <laughs> okay we don't have to go there but, but like what are some questions that you're that you're lacking in your life that you're not asking people to find out more or for support <laughs> um to be honest i i mean okay so my friend carly and i when i was in seattle we were like about to start a bikini line together yeah oh shit okay. <laughs> i haven't told a lot of people this sorry i just dropped the bomb um but i only asked a few people that i felt like close enough to you know for like their advice on manufacturers and you know if we should go out of bali or we should go to china or we should go to la or whatever um but pe the people that like probably weren't the best people to ask because they didn't actually know you know and i know plenty of people that have their own clothing lines or their own bikini lines or their own whatever. And I, I could ask them, but I'm, I'm like, I don't want them to feel like I'm like taking from them or right. I don't, I don't want them to, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. So would I just you like love, get in my head and I'm and, like, and, mm. but, that, but that's fine. Like you, that shows that you're a good fucking person. You're a good human. Like that, that it's really that simple. It's like, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want them to feel bad. Like, or, or like, I don't want them to, to hold any judgment towards me. But at the same time, it's an insecurity. Mm -hmm. It's what are they going to think? Yeah. How will they react? Yeah. What will come from this? Yeah. Is it going, what if you just did it? Mm -hmm. What if you got left here, you called your friend that's having, we're going through a rough time mm -hmm. and you called a couple friends or people that you know that could help you out with this bikini line. Because the most incredible thing is once you do it, you you literally look back. And you're like, why the fuck didn't I do this sooner? Yeah. And how many more areas of your life are you not doing it sooner? And you're losing out on opportunities. I could have started this podcast two years ago, and I would literally have blown the fuck up everywhere. Just mm -hmm. being honest, I really believe in myself that much. Yeah. And so I didn't do it. I just didn't do it. Yeah. And now I'm finally doing it. And look, I, like my team and I, like we put this stuff together, but like. I fucking this table I fucking made this table I like this this wall I made all this shit happen I moved to Denver Colorado and I said no more and I and I just did it and I was like I'm going fucking all in I'm spending thousands of dollars on a table spending thousands of dollars on, on a wall I'm doing I'm putting money into this I have four camera angles I'm going all in let's go I'm gonna hire a podcast I just went all in and whatever comes from it comes from it but I'm gonna learn from it and I'm so thankful that I did this because now look I'm fucking speaking on a beautiful mic and you can hear my voice without a lot of hiss <laughs> you know yeah, so yeah. you get to finally build this line hmm. i didn't hear a single thing about this line i didn't hear I about know. any of this i know i know okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be complete like you know i love fashion i yeah. i love i like and i i do just like you believe in this podcast i believe that if i started anything whether it's a online store kind of like a mini like Fashion Nova type website or if I started a bikini line or if I started an activewear line like I I know that I would kill it because yeah. that's my that's my shit like yeah. I love yeah. that I love I but I get I get very overwhelmed um because I again I will do all the research until my eyes bleed and then I'm like oh gosh well now what do I do I like making so making, you have people around you yeah so now you have people around you because because <laughs> what you're doing right now even is you're like psyching yourself out of like all the things that come with it you're like yeah. this 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 so well, you have, sometimes even when you talk to other people too they they like get you a little psyched out yeah because right? it's hard yeah. it's not fucking right. easy you need right. someone to believe in your vision as much as you do yeah and if they're not believing in the vision that you do then you just need to Go like this and keep yeah. moving forward and say, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Maybe we can work on a different project, but like, I don't think we're right for each other. Yeah. And it's, I'm telling you, it's not because it's too difficult for you. 
you really think that like Apple and all these massive Amazon.com, Jeff Bezos, like McDonald's, uh, all these different businesses and companies, you think that people thought it was a great idea. Gary V had an opportunity to invest in Uber from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And actually, let's not even take Gary V. Mo so many people, thousands of people probably had the opportunity yeah. to invest in Uber and they fucked up. Mm -hmm. But did they really fuck up? No, they just learned that they should have freaking <laughs> invested. And now they probably invest in things more. Yeah. So like, if someone's not the right fit, that just that's what it means. Mm -hmm. It's just like if you consume a specific food and it creates a, a, a reaction in your body, that's just it. It was a reaction in your body. You shouldn't have that food. Now shift to another food. You're still going to try and get the same macros. You're still going to put this like a, a similar food in your body. It's just not going to affect you. Mm -hmm. right? It's just like business. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you, so what are you going to take from this? What, what are you really like, what are you going to do and, and take the next step in after this? What are some things? <laughs> well, I am going to call my friend because I, I need to do that and I have been telling myself that and sometimes it's a matter of someone else telling me to do something like you said with the the energies I just need someone to be like Shannon yeah you know that you need to do this so do it and you need to stop holding doors for everybody else and <laughs> allow some people to hold the doors for you seriously even those small things in your life will literally start shifting your mindset and equalize it mm -hmm. and make it become more neutral mm -hmm. I'm telling you rather than going up and getting a glass of water for yourself ask for a glass of water see how it works if you're dating someone ask them if they can help like ask for support you're gonna find out if they're right for you or not pretty yeah. quickly yeah. hey do you mind whatever Ugh, really if you're just dating get the fuck out like yeah. i'm telling you run oh yeah you know what i mean <laughs> so like ask for su support because you'll never know who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with because mm -hmm. you'll never know yeah so that what else well i mean in general i need to ask for support and give support that's uh, those are the two like really give yeah really give not not just like eh, well, yeah here's a piece yeah. of my candy that i love you know like no like get, go out of your way like i went to the airport it was later in the evening yeah and i i was exhausted mm -hmm. i still got you mm -hmm. i didn't expect like you to make out with me because you freaking because <laughs> i picked you up you know what i mean yeah i just picked you up from the airport and i was like i support you and then we had a talk in the car and it was really cool i got to know you a little bit more Cause I knew, cause I wanted, I wanted to mm -hmm. like, even, even sometimes we create this, this atmosphere in our mind. That's like, mm, it's like almost like an ozone. And we're like, we block ourselves from thinking that we actually want to do something. But the truth is I do want to talk to him. I do want to talk to you. I do want to talk to this person on the phone. I do want to talk to this other person. I do want to build a business with this person. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I'm creating all these doubts and fears and things that are like, nah, you can't do it mm -hmm. and you shouldn't. And then I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. But the truth is I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't find out that I really wanted to until I asked for support. I got on the, on the call. You know what I mean? Right. So asking for support and giving more support. What else? Is there anything else that you, you feel like you need to, you need to take the next step today, create yourself. Hmm. Be more vulnerable. Yeah, be, be more vulnerable. Be more vulnerable. On social media. <laughs> <laughs> be more vulnerable. And not just on social media, but in general yeah. with everyone. Like, because I think that's where you connect with people the best. And, and I guess, I mean, it's, you know, I, I want people to like me and appreciate me for who I am. Right. Yet I kind of like have a wall up. So it's like, well, Shannon, that's like, yeah, you can't, how uh, are they going to like yeah. learn to learn who you are if you don't yeah. open up, you know? So those are the three things you get to take away from this and you get to start implementing your life. Are you glad that you uh, took some time out of your day for this? Mm -hmm. Kind of shift it out a little bit, shift, shift things in your life. I did. My, my first podcast. The only podcast I've ever said yes to. And the only podcast you should ever say yes to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Great Years. No, anyways. <laughs> but seriously, I, I, I'm so happy that you came on here. Um, and I, I, I want to end it here because I want to have you on another time to talk about other things. You know, like uh, I think you have such great energy and we can actually talk about shit. We can like talk about they, like shit. random shit, like topics and whatever. Yes. So I'm definitely going to have you on again. That sounds fun. And um, yeah, where can they find you? Um, on Instagram at Shannon.Henry with two Y's. Yes. Make sure there's two Y's. Uh, there's no twerking account of her. No. But you will find twerking footage on oh there. Oh my god. And she's going to be vulnerable, which is going to be, and she's going to ask for your support. And I'm going to ask for support right now. Fucking subs like it, follow her freaking Instagram. And while you're at it, subscribe now.
<laughs> and leave a review on iTunes. No, seriously. Uh, thank you so much for coming thank and you, hanging out with me and twerking with me of and course. dressing me so I look fab. You know. Of course. This and, is fun. And by the way, thank you for the moisturizer. Like, she, dude, <laughs> I've never used moisturizer in my life, but yeah, I got some moisturizer on my face. I'm Do feeling, you feel good now? I feel moisturized. Mm. Mm, maybe that's what moisturizer is. Yeah. A moisturizer. <laughs> wow. Incredible. It's a game changer. I know. Anyways, thank you again for coming. And uh, yeah, you can learn more about her. Just follow her Instagram again, Shannon.Henry with two Y's. I'm it's on very, YouTube very too. She's on YouTube. She's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Squad up. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in for this episode of the Create You Experience. Remember when you review the podcast on iTunes, all you got to do is review it. It's in the show notes, in the description. You click that link and we will send you, after you send your email and everything, we will send you seven incredible gifts through a login and that's it. It's really that simple. Uh, we are here every single week Bring in the fire, bring in the juice, bring in the moisturizer <laughs> for that skin, that yo, my dry ass skin. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Peace. All right, I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'm a breakthrough. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do. You got to create you.